Cricket Wireless presents The Warm, and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Ashley Bullington. We have some inclement weather going on in the Metroplex, so some games have been postponed, but we are still going to have some hoops action on Inside High School Sports this week, and we hope today's episode can warm you up a little bit. We hope y'all are staying warm out there. It's rematch time in the Metroplex as teams are getting a second shot of revenge over opponents. But due to the weather, many games have been postponed to a later date. So on this week's lineup presented by Social Chips and Salsa, we'll be previewing games that you'll be seeing in the near future. Our Waterbury game of the week is a showdown between the top two teams in 4-6-A as the Keller Indians go on the road to play at Byron Nelson. Keller is the only undefeated team left in the district and have a very balanced attack led by Brooks Barr. He's averaging just over 14 points a game. While Byron Nelson features one of the area's leading scorers in Finley Bijak, the Bobcats will be looking to avenge a loss earlier this year to Keller and need this one to keep any hopes of the district championship alive. In 5A, Mansfield Legacy will face Mansfield Summit in a game that could have an impact on playoff seeding. Summit is currently in sole possession of second place with their only loss coming to district leader Timberview. Legacy has the third spot in 8-5A. Both will make the playoffs, but a Legacy win would bring the Broncos to within a game of second place, and a loss would leave them vulnerable to Arlington Seguin. The Cougars currently hold the fourth and final spot in this district. On the girls' side, Plano East and Coppell will face one another for the second time this season. Coppell is just one game behind Plano East in standings and will be looking to avenge their loss to the Lady Panthers a couple weeks ago. Plano East features one of the area's most potent duos and Jules Lamandola and India Howard. Those two have combined to average over 40 points in the last four games. Coppell and Plano East feature an intriguing matchup between two teams locked in for the final playoff spot in a highly competitive 6-6-A. Come into Cricket Wireless and get any LTE Android free when you switch. Smile, you're on Cricket. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. We have the potential for some really great basketball to be seen on Inside High School Sports in the near future. Now it's time for a battle as we bring on two great athletes you'll be seeing on the hardwood, but instead they're here on our show in the battle. Okay, guys, for the battle this week, we have two phenomenal athletes from Mansfield Timberview High School on with us. Guys, introduce yourselves. Uh, my name is Donovan O'Day. I'm a point guard, and a fun fact about me is I like to watch Netflix. <laughs> uh, I'm Kendall Weaver. I'm a point guard, and a fun fact about me is uh, I like fashion. Okay, we've got fashion and we've got Netflix. Both things are great. Guys, who's going to win the battle this week? Me, of course. No, I've got it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're going basketball trivia. No holds barred here. Y'all ready for question number one? Yes. Okay, who was the first player in NBA history to be elected league MVP by unanimous vote? LeBron. Nope. Current player? Curry. Current. It's it, which one? Or no. Steph. Steph. It is Steph Curry. Oh, who was the youngest player to score 10,000 points in the NBA? LeBron James. It is LeBron James. <laughs> okay. How many games did Wilt Chamberlain foul out of during his 14 year career in the NBA? Zero. It's zero. <laughs> it is zero. It's two one. Two, one. Okay, 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 okay. Who is the youngest player in NBA history to record three triple doubles? Luca. Call me Bryant. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, one more question. What piece of basketball equipment, formerly owned by Steph Curry, sold at auction for three thousand one hundred and ninety dollars on August? His mouthpiece. His mouthpiece. His mouthpiece. His mouthpiece. His mouthpiece. Oh. <laughs> Kendall. Still one. <laughs> Still one. You got the more, you got that, you got that. Do you have anything to say? Uh, I'd just like to shout out everybody that's watching. Shout out to my mom. For sure. I love you. Awesome, guys. So we will have all of the basketball highlights this week on Inside High School Sports, Saturday at 5 p.m. on NBC5. 
Guys, it's way too cold outside, but we hope the warmth is giving you some extra heat and enjoyment. As we said earlier, most games have been postponed this week due to today's inclement weather, but we still want to take the opportunity to hype up some games that will be played here soon in our segment, The Hype. Undefeated Plano and Marcus are in firm control of the top spot, but Capel and Plano East are two of four teams on the hunt for the final playoff spot. This head-to-head -head matchup has a lot riding on it. Capel is led by senior guard Nas Brown, who is coming off a big game and a win over Hebron. Come into Cricket Wireless and get any LTE Android free when you switch. Smile, you're on Cricket. And though basketball games may be postponed, social media is going all the time. So let's check on what's been going on in the world of social media in our segment, The Buzz. The biggest news from around the area happened this morning as the UIL realignment districts were released. So follow all of our social accounts for more on realignment to answer your questions about your school's new district and their matchups. We have me, Matt Diggs, Ward Fasold, and some great coaches as well as a little bit of UIL insight coming at you as you follow all of our social media platforms. Making his last rounds before National Signing Day, we had a signing from the man, the myth, the legend, Nick Saban. So he was going around the Metroplex to meet with some coaches and do a little bit of recruiting. The McDonald's All-American roster was released last week, and this week the Iverson Classic invitees were announced. And we have a few DFW products on it, including Richardson's Case and Wallace, Duncanville's Anthony Black, and Kimball's Artero Morris as well as no longer in the Metroplex, but still a product of it, Keontae George. That's all we have for this week's episode. To stay up to date with all things inside high school sports, follow our social accounts. We have Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. By following those, we'll get you ready for the highlight of the sports weekend, Inside High School Sports, Saturday on NBC5, hosted by Pat Downey. And for the next three weeks, due to Olympic coverage, we'll be on at 5 p.m. So you guys don't miss it, 5 p.m. this week, and for the next few, Thank you for watching the Cricket Wireless Warm-Up. I'm Ashley Bullington. I hope we've gotten you warmed up for what is to come around the Metroplex for Hoops Action.